So I was looking online throughout the course of the day, trying to figure out anything interesting that I could probably tell from, in terms of story. But um, on Facebook, on my Facebook page, uh, some a friend of mine actually posted something on there from Instagram Reels from Attack of the Shaft, and uh, it's a video they put out there called the and the caption on there is called the '80s were wild. And the video that they show on there is a Band-Aids commercial, uh, Band-Aids Clear Bandages commercial from the 1980s. And um, so I saw this, and I'm wondering to myself, well, this isn't too bad. Most of the commercial isn't really that bad per se. It's just a very normal commercial for the time period, and it starts off kind of that way. I've actually got it right here, so I'll show you. So I'm going to play the video here. I was a kid. I love to wear bandages just to get attention. Now, at the start of this commercial, it, I thought the I thought the gag was going to be like, put, there's this woman on here, and it's funny because when they show her in the mirror first, she actually looks like a guy at first, and then she turns her head, and then her the rest of her hair comes down, and you realize, oh, it's a woman's. And I thought that that was gonna I thought that was the thing they were talking about, but um, that's not what it is. Let's continue playing the commercial. But now I use Band Aid Brand Clear from Johnson and Johnson. It's the bandage with the see through strip so people hardly notice I'm wearing a bandage at all, which is nice, because now that I'm grown up, I want people to notice me, not my bandage. Only Johnson & Johnson makes Band-Aid brand clear, clearly the best-looking bandage ever. Okay, so doesn't sound like it's that r weird or anything t too significant. I think this actress is actually uh, Terry Farrell, who you've seen on Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, she's also been on Becker. Um, I believe that's her. I could be mistaken on that. So the commercial is almost over. And then cut to this. Help us help retarded children. Look for Johnson & Johnson coupons in Sunday's paper. Yeah. If you didn't hear that, it said, help retarded children. Like, it literally says on the coupon paper, help retarded children with Johnson & Johnson. Help us help retarded children by cutting these coupons and using them. Like... Like, look, using the word retarded, I know it's a hotly t contested issue nowadays, but apparently back then it was not a big deal to say this because not only did we have commercials that literally say this, but we also had cartoon shows that said this. Fat Albert did a notable episode where uh, there's this new kid in school and he's retarded and he's liter and they literally – the teacher literally tells Fat Albert he's retarded. Perhaps this might clarify it better. He is retarded. What the fuck? <laughs> like if, like it's, it is um, like it just goes to show you how the eighties and the and the the seventies and eighties were such a different time period because you could say stuff like this on TV and nobody would bat an eye whatsoever. I mean, we had commercials that ha talked about, do you douche? Mom, hmm? I've got to ask you something real personal. Hmm? Do you douche? Like, we, there were literally commercials for douches out there, and there was commercials for peanut butter AIDS. Like, the AIDS plan can teach you how to take off weight and help keep it off. Try new peanut butter AIDS. Like, the, a candy company literally was pr okay with them say, calling themselves AIDS, like A-Y-D-S, especially as, and during the, pe during the time of the AIDS pandemic, too, mind you. I mean, this is... I'm not saying this to be like it, to be like, oh, this is, this is all wrong in so many levels, but it just goes to show you about, like how different the time period has changed. Like, nowadays, we just say mentally challenged. I mean, that's that's the term to use, to use when you're talking about, you know, mentally challenged, you know, mentally challenged or retarded people. I mean, it's mentally challenged is the way to use the word to use. But I just found that so amusing that the eight, that this was a commercial that was basically more than okay of saying, help retarded children by, by redeeming these Johnson & Johnson coupons. And the fact that they said, the, the fact that they say that on the, on the screen like I think that makes it all the more hilarious to watch this nowadays because it's just like you're you're laughing, but at the same time you're also pulling your neck and go, doing the Charles Nelson ride like, oh. like, like. And here's the funny thing about this whole thing: the reason why I went to Facebook on this is because when you f try to find this Band Aid commercial on YouTube, you can't find this last bit on here. Like it's just nowhere to be found on there. Like you have to, this like whoever had this must have dug deep into like an old VHS VHS of classic commercials to find this clip right here to find this clip right here and kudos to them man because this is um this is pretty amusing like it's it's surprisingly it surprisingly got more out of me than I could have thought that I could have thought it would have had but um actually let's go ahead and play it one more time why not I was a kid I love to wear bandages 
just to get attention. I just love how the lady is just like, I wear band-aids to get attention. Like, okay, so, like, these are clear bandages too. So basically, what you, so basically, you're trying to promote something that you don't want. Is where you're not get, where you're not going to get attention because nobody's going to realize that you're wearing a band. Is wearing bandages. It's just like like. The logic in this commercial really does not make a whole lot of sense. But then again, when you watch some of these 80s commercials, some of the logic in here doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Help us help retarded children. Look for Johnson & Johnson coupons in Sunday's paper. Help us help retarded children by cutting these coupons out of the Sunday paper because apparently that's going to solve everything, apparently. I mean, that's just... That's the logic of these 80s commercials. And there's another commercial that I always go back to um, that just seems like... You can only get away with something like this in the 1980s. It's a commercial for isotoner pantyhose. And um, some of you might know what this is, and you might be thinking of the isotoner commercials with Dan Marino. No, I'm not, th I'm not talking about those ones here. I'm talking about the isotoner commercial where you have this lady who's, who's just walking around town, and she's, like, she's dancing in the air, literally flashing every single person around her around her like she's jumping on car like these people are jumping on cars they're lifting their legs up in the air where you can see everything is only super sheer isotone or pantyhose tone your legs to keep you going non-stop So you got this lady just moving around, just like jumping all around, literally just jumping in the air. She's basically exposing herself to all these people. Like there's literally a scene where she's literally lifting her legs up in front of a window. It's just kind of like, 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 how can you not laugh at something like this? I mean, it's a really bizarre commercial, but at the same time, I kind of admire it in a way for just how they're just going all in on this. It's just like, they just don't get, these ladies don't give a crap whatsoever about what's happening. But like, the thing literally ends with the with lady lifting her leg up in the air in front of a construction site with, with the construction workers there. It's just like, come on. Like, seriously, man. Just like, it's ridiculous, but that's just kind of the fun of these 1980s commercials. You can go back and look at them and realize that, like, this is what the world used to be like back then, and nobody made a big deal about it whatsoever. So you know what? God bless them for it. I mean, that's um, that's uh, nothing to nothing related to anything going on right now. I just thought that was kind of amusing to talk about.